switched up getting the protein. I ended up taking some chocolate fudge pro subs protein. And I got some help from Marjan Avalardo. This guy, really funny guy. Nice to meet him. And uh, he says he's the number one poser in uh, New Zealand men's physique for his class. So he's a legend apparently here. So I'll have to look into him a little more. Nice guy. Yep, he's happy to have his pre-shaker and his protein. It's like Christmas morning for you. So, I have not given a tour of my apartment in Auckland, New Zealand. Things have been pretty busy and I'm kind of making excuse, but I've had a lot of shit on the plate, for sure, uh, to deal with and a lot of uh, things to do to get settled here. So I'm finally trying to restart the motions for regular video productions. So, here is my apartment. Uh, as you can see, it's small before I even show you the fine details, but I'll just turn the camera around here and give a little tour, but there's some good view. We got that for sure. Well, good view of the apartment parking lot, but you definitely got nice sunny environment, some greens, nice sky, all that stuff when it comes to scenery. Uh, the kitchen, of course, we got here. It's being used, so it's not going to be the most cleansly that it has been looking in the past. Solid couch, dope TV, of course we need the fan, that's going to be a work desk kind of area, and a uh, really messy bedroom, but I'll give a little quick, this is all my shit by the way, not my girlfriend, so I'm going to clean that up by the time she gets back. But we also got another desk here, which is pretty solid, um, besides the stuff I got to clean up here, it's pretty decent. Um, you know, closet, pretty basic, power box and fuses up there, and bathroom, which, you know, that's that's a toilet. Uh, yeah, and then of course we got the shower back here. I know, uh, hopefully you don't feel nauseated because of all the moving around and front-facing camera stuff I'm doing here, but essentially this is the place that I'm living at until July 2017. Uh, I'm gonna try to film a good amount of videos here trying to regularly produce some content, at the same time balancing law school. Fortunately for myself, I've set up my courses in such a way that my credits still equal a full course load back at my home university in Canada, which is McMaster University, but I only have to take four, technically three, courses here, because one of those courses was a three-day course and I just have to do an assignment for them, for that one course. Other than that, it's essentially I'm only regularly keeping up with three courses here, and it equates to five courses back at my home university in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, McMaster University. So, this is my little view of the apartment, you know, um, other than that, there's a lot more shit that I've been doing, a lot more that I've been keeping up with. Follow my Instagram, follow my Snapchat, I'll put them both here, and uh, just stay along and keep up with all the adventurous times I'll be having in my life soon. Other than that, I'll move on. So this is going to be a clip for a keto video I'm filming. Uh, if you're going to be doing any sort of grocery hauls just to restart everything to approach a keto diet, definitely go for these sardines. Sardines are fucking amazing for keto diet. Uh, peanut butter is also great. Uh, you want a load of fat if you're unfamiliar with keto diets and how they should be performed. Loads of fatty foods, protein as well, but I'll get into the ratios specifically after, but these are just some good foods to have on hand. So of course the sardines, excellent. If you don't like them, you really gotta find a way to, to like them because they're a huge benefit. It's you, you won't die without them on a keto diet, but they're so helpful. Um, and in New Zealand, I found that the fish products taste particularly good. Either that or my brain is just making up stories. Peanut butter for fats that are good. You can put on different foods. There's some grains and rice, which are more for my girlfriend back there or for me when I'm not uh, eating in a low carb diet. Tuna also tastes very good here for some reason. Uh, maybe again, placebo. The smoked tuna, what does this say? Smoked skipjack light tuna tastes like hot dogs. It is amazing. All the macronutrients, are exactly as they should be for tuna, so it's not as if there's some sugars in there or added things that are probably not too healthy. It is legit tuna, just with an amazing sauce. Uh, coffee, more peanut butter, 
This is some good muesli and oats that we got back there. My girlfriend is having liking those a lot. We're both eating pretty healthy chicken in a can. Incredibly helpful, incredibly delicious. And up here, we got some soup, mushroom soup, and some, what is this, chicken soup? Uh, this is a basic, I don't even know what you would call this. It's just like some energy mix, but it just has a lot of good carbohydrates and vitamins in there. Uh, I'm sure if you live in Europe or Oceania, anywhere, you'll know. But in Canada, I've never seen that before. Uh, some bars, some sauce, uh, and nuts. Oh, yes, nuts. These are big for snacks. I got cashews and almonds there. You're going to want a lot of those on a keto diet as a snack that you don't have to make a full meal out of. Uh, also, of course, low-carb pasta helps. Greek yogurt helps. You can maybe pause the screen on this right now on the macros of what an ideal Greek yogurt would be for you. If it's Greek and says low fat, you're generally in the clear, but you're going to want to be careful about the name brand because some of them do not necessarily guarantee the lowest carbohydrate content you can get per serving. Um, coconut oil is a big one for keto diet. This stuff is amazing. You can, there's a lot of ways you can use coconut oil. I could probably get into those eventually or in maybe in the, another part of this video, but coconut oil is very helpful for cooking a lot of things on keto diet, but you're going to want a lot of fats and fat here. I'll give you a little glimpse, pause it right now, on the macros for coconut oil. High fats are what you want. Cream, you're basically going to be substituting milk for this. Uh, not in the sense that you're going to be drinking it. You're just going to want it um, with your coffees, with other concoctions I might show you how to make. But cream is very useful, especially if you like coffee. Almond milk is helpful. I like it. I use it. This is not, by the way, the most extensive coverage you'll get of a keto diet grocery haul. This is just what I've found is the most practical since I have just moved to a foreign country to me and started living on a keto diet, which is a big jump. So you can definitely find a lot more, um, I guess, hidden gems of keto foods. But so far, this is some very practical stuff that anyone could really replicate on a good budget. Also, this is some salad dressing, uh, Worcestershire sauce. I can never fucking say that word. Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> good if you like avocados, which I have plenty of over here. Avocados are just amazing, high fat. They taste delicious, especially if you can make guacamole out of them with that Worcestershire sauce and uh, some lemon juice, which I have there. Or you can buy like a guacamole spread like I did back here as well, but I don't know if I really like that too much. Some sort of spicy sauce I like. Of course, you're going to want to check and make sure it's low carb and hopefully uh, no sugars. Butter, incredibly helpful in keto diet. You're going to want to add fats as much as possible. Mayo I have with a lot of meals. Um, my girlfriend likes it too, but not because she's not doing a keto diet. It's not the same value of how many times she uses it per meal than I do. Eggs are huge. have loads of eggs. Um, good cholesterol. Uh, many fats, good proteins, like no carbs, pretty much. Um, deli meats, just some ham in there. Cheese, very helpful. High fat, good snack, hold you over. Keep your appetite down. Delicious also. Um, those are some practical essentials for a keto diet. Those are essentially the things that I go with most when I'm on a keto diet. I've done them, I've done it many times, jumping back and forth. But I've done around five long periods of keto dieting in my life, consisting of several months at a time. I'm 20 right now, so, you know, I've done a lot of keto dieting in my life. The avocados are something that I'm really jumping into lately, and I fucking love these things. They're amazing. I'll jump into a video about the guacamole I make eventually. Oh, so there's an onion. Excuse the messiness. But there's a load of stuff you can do with a keto diet. It's all about approaching it right, managing it well, because especially if you're a, a, new, a newbie to keto dieting. So that's what you're going to want to do with any diet that is very high fat. You know, avocados are a huge benefit. Also some multivitamin supplements, green tea extract, additional stuff that's luxury items there. Hopefully, but you can find them for good prices as well, especially bodybuilding.com. 
Coffee, huge. Tea, huge. This stuff is great. It's essentially, if you've watched my old videos, I think it was my first serious video, uh, I talked about Zero Carb Pasta. It was a brand called New Pasta from Toronto. This is uh, an Australian brand, I think. I believe it's Australian. And um, it's essentially the same thing. Except I actually believe this has less carbohydrates and more fiber in comparison. Got some red wine. Gotta have some New Zealand wines, even though that's an Australian one. Um, dirty area, but I'm making the zero card pasta. In fact, I never gave a close up of this stuff before. It's delicious when you eat it with some good sauce. And um, it's good stuff. And don't you can't forget the Greek yogurt. In fact, I'm gonna make a video on, like a quick video on my Greek yogurt uh, concoctions. And along with that, a whole bunch of other low carb and keto friendly food because I'm a really big advocate of the keto diet and I'm, I'm doing it right now. I really like that diet. Those are the essentials. That's the stuff you're gonna need most out of this diet. Um, any further questions, ask me in the comments. Contact my Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. I'll respond uh, as soon as I got the time. Uh, and yeah, I'll dive into deeper details in the future. But yeah, overall, it's uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this stuff, so. I'm pumped. Don't forget to like and subscribe to all my shit. And hopefully I can give you some more value uh, in regards to the other stuff that I'm doing and when it comes to diets, it comes to, I guess, other ways you can go about improving your life somehow by watching me and get some, getting some enjoyment out of it as well. But yeah, um, thanks again. And this should wrap up one of the videos that I'm making because I have so many that I need to finish producing right now. But the footage is all captured and this should clarify a lot of things. Peace out for now.